Grapevines Resale today, a very dangerous band game. A very dangerous what's in the bag from the WWF. An expensive Nintendo game you probably never heard of. It's probably not that good, but it's still in the box. And it's probably more expensive than a lot of the things you have. And of course, a little something for the ladies. First thing I have here is a band game. This is Jarts, it's a missile game. Of course it's an outdoor game, that would be horrible inside. You set it up, you stand 40 feet apart from those you love and throw giant missile darts at each other and try to score points. Now this game, you can see that this, if you go on eBay, this is actually selling, but it's the box only. You can buy this box. The box sells from anywhere from $100 to $200. I am guessing they may accidentally include these in the box. That's just a guess. Of course, I don't condone that or wouldn't do that. But why would you buy a box for $200? Anyway, you can go on there right now and you can see that. This has extra flights. Look at all the extra flights there. Two extra flights. This is the entire thing. Those rings are how you do your scoring. You do toss these like horseshoes. They stand up in the ground. Can be played anywhere outdoors, at home, at the beach, or on picnics. What a great game. This game has been around for a while in jarts. Lawn darts. It's a unique scoring rules. Those who don't bleed get more points. I don't think it says that, but anyone who's played this, especially as a teenager, you've had these. The contest was how close you could get that jart to your buddy. What? Okay, we need to get you to a hospital right now. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. What? Calm down. I'm okay. I'll take care of it myself. Does anybody get any pliers? And it was a game because they don't they don't really look that sharp. They don't look that sharp, but you can throw them up in the air. It's interesting, and it's probably the only box that sells for that kind of money, even in this condition. But it's a it's an old game. It's a family game. You took it on picnics, and of course it's an outdoor game. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is this is Jake the Snake. He was a wrestler. I wish I had Jake, but just his snake came in. He would carry this into the ring, and then he would bring out his snake, which, sorry if that scared you, it's not a real snake. You see, he's rubber. Oh, he looks dangerous. So, good old Jake. Looks like he's got his tail cut off. But this is, this is, this is a cool item. If you knew who Jake the Snake was, if you were a fan of his and walking around with this, it is just an awesome, awesome item. And that this item actually pretty sells pretty well. And a very expensive item. Probably the most expensive thing on this table is Princess Tomato. This is a Nintendo game, an NES game, the original Nintendo. It is Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, which is great. That is, he doesn't look happy. That must be Princess Tomato. Games in the box are worth more. The cartridges are still worth um, pretty good amount. This looks like a former rental. You can usually tell by it was hanging. Um, also, this particular game, it's worth more than that Zelda you think is worth a thousand dollars and that Mario. Princess Tomato is actually worth about $150. 150 to $200 it is in the box. You got a problem. You're a cucumber. I think that'd probably be a problem. Um, you go through life long green and with seeds. I don't know why this didn't sell more. Your salad kingdom will be tossed into a frenzy. I see what you did there, Princess Tomato. Nice. Came's in the box. The box condition does help, but this is a this is just a cool item. Actually looks good on the shelf with the box. I haven't played it. The last thing I got, this thing came in and it was, you are pretty far out. Of course, that's the eldest Brady. Greg Brady, and this is a talking card. It's not that old, it's just cool. And we can hear Greg talk. Well, Greg sounds like a serial killer that he may be making prank calls back in the 70s, but now we have caller ID, Greg. You can't call people like, <laughs> so maybe the batteries run out. Hey. You are the greatest, grooviest, most understanding person in the whole world. Well, Greg's always been great.
Anyway, and the last thing we have is probably the worst selling vinyl of the year. This is from Columbia Record Club. It is an exclusive. It's an old vinyl. And it's called A Very Good Year. I'm not sure anyone will call this a very good year. It's 2020. I hope you're enjoying it. It's almost over. I appreciate you watching Great Finds. Greg says thank you. Princess Tomato and Sir Cucumber. He has been knighted. Jake the Snake, always awesome. And be very careful throwing darts at your loved ones.